Attention, this is a fire alert message. A fire has been reported or detected in the building. Please leave the building immediately using the nearest stairway. Do not use elevators. Repeat, a fire has been reported or detected in the building. Please leave the building immediately using the nearest stairway. Do not use elevators. Hi there, it is me, Elliot Veers here, and this is another fire alarm video. Um, in this test, we've got X10 combined with regular fire alarm stuff. Um, the devices in this system are my notifier BG10, um, a Cardi Isolation smoke detector, what has been converted for the system, a Wheelock MT24 horn and strobe just a horn in this test a um, Faraday um, whatever horn and strobe just a strobe 75 candela and then a banshee sounder over there now the way this system works is got an X10 module there when that, when that detects a small amount of current um, after, after the smoke detector or the pull station has been pull, pulled a small amount of current going through there triggers the X10 modules, what sets off, and that one sets off the Whirlock horn and the Faraday strobe, and there's a module off over there on the wall, what sets off the um, um, Banshee sounder. Now, quickly, um, the smoke detector puts out a voltage, but the um, pull station doesn't, so I've used a little battery to pass a minute amount of current through. So this module will, will detect the pole station. Anyway, I shall start off by pulling the pole station. So, as you can hear, the um, Whirlock horn's going off there. The Faraday strobe is going off. And the Banshee sounder over there. So, the lamp is on so you can see. But um, I shall now reset the pull station. And if you ask, no, this hasn't been converted. It's just a screwdriver fits the Allen wrench. And now, um, well, it self will set itself. I shall next test the isolation smoke detector, what of course has been converted, the um, piezo sound has been taken out and has been wired to the wire. So, just bear with me. out and once again strobe sound in here and the um, horns going off And once again, the system has self reset itself. Now, briefly, I'll talk about why this was flashing on and off. I don't know, to be honest, why. Um, because um, I happen to use lamp modules, that, um, alarm, that X10 module that you saw by the battery, 
that will, that will only um, permanently turn on um, light modules. What it does with all the other modules, um, it turns them on and off or just off. So it's using lamp modules to turn them just on. So maybe either um, it's got a mode setting like one to three that that does different things. Either that was set incorrectly, or um, yeah, not sure. But lastly, before I end this video, I've got two pieces of information that I have saved to the last. Firstly, is I hope to start doing fire alarm videos again. And money is a bit short, so I'm not so sure what I'm going to do about new devices. And secondly, and most importantly, um, I'm planning on building my own programmable um, alarm panel. What's going to use a Arduino Uno Revision 3 circuit board with a load of with a load of transistors and diodes and other electronic components. Won't tell you too much about that, but it's sort of what like what New Age server alarm has. But um, that concludes this test, really. Um, lastly, I shall just test the test button on it here, and then, as you can see, the strobe's going off. But anyway, um, that concludes the test. So until next time, can I say, I'll see you later.